Hey there, what's going on? My name is Basi Painda. Welcome to Project 18 of 100 Web Project Series. And in this video, we'll be creating this simple animated counter using only HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. I also add a little bit touch of neomorphism style in here as well, and it's totally responsive and it looks decent on the mobile screen as well. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started. Here, I already created the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files, link them all together just to save some time. Okay, for the HTML, first I'm going to stack both of these side by side. Now for the HTML, everything is going to be wrapped in the container, and the container is going to have a cart, and within that, fab, fa-quora, this is going to be the icon for the quora in here, and then down below, we're going to have a div with the class of number, and also I'm going to add this data target attribute as well, dash number, that's equal to uh, 12,000, and then down here, zero. And for the text here, I'm just gonna say Quora followers. There we go. And now I need to just let's first stretch this up a little bit. Now I'm gonna duplicate it three times. And then this one is gonna be for the Facebook. Okay, just get rid of the Quora from here. And the number of followers on Facebook is 7,500, okay, the zero is the initial value and we'll be incrementing this to this target number using JavaScript. And then in Quora, it's again Quora, let's change this to code and this not font awesome brand is font awesome, solid. So I'm gonna add FAS here and the value here is 500,000. I'll go with 100,000 actually. And then back in here, this value here is gonna be lines of code, there we go. And then for this card section right here, it's again check. And then down here, I'm gonna call this as project stand. And if you're wondering how do I come up with this font awesome classes in here, well, just to save some time, I already saw the documentation of font awesome, and I know exactly for what icon I should write which classes. Okay, so we are done with the HTML. I'm gonna run this in live server. Okay, so this is how it is all gonna look. So we're gonna style this and add a little bit of JavaScript and it's gonna look exactly like this. Okay, and style the CSS, some basic styling in here. I already imported this mid font family from Google font and then asterisk box sizing border box here. And for the body, some pretty much basic styling like to center them, overflow heading, margin zero and so forth. So down here, I'm gonna get the container it's going to be displayed as grid and grid template columns. Repeat this four times. Each is going to be like 180 pixels. Okay, so there it is. If you see the demo in here, we have four of these one for Quora, Facebook, Code, and Chick. So that's why I added this four, and each of those are going to have width of 180 pixels. Also, we need to add a grid gap of like one rim in here and then save it. And that is it. And then also I need to add a background color for this. It's gonna to be totally white in a padding of like one rim. Then a border radius here. It's gonna be like 0.5 rim for the border radius. And it looks good. Maybe for the padding, I'm gonna increment it to be like two rim. And now it looks beta. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of more styling for this and it's gonna look decent. Okay, for the new morphism style, I already saw this code pen here by Cosimo Scarpa. So I'm gonna just copy and paste some of the box shadow that he already came up with. So that is it. And then if I just go back to the counter, well, that's all how it's all gonna look. I will add the link for this code pen in the link at the description section below. And also all of these projects are gonna be pushed into GitHub repository. You can get it from there as well. Okay, so basically the new morphism style it's all playing with the shadow. There's gonna be one light shadow and one dark shadow, okay? Usually light shadow starts from top left and dark shadow ends at bottom right. And then down here, I also need to add a little bit of styling for these icons as well. So what I'm gonna do, class, everything that's equal to FA dash. So basically everything that starts with FA, we're gonna target all of those and add a phone size of like two rim for all of those. So, okay, that looks smaller. We're gonna go with three rim. And that looks a little bit beta. Okay, just, and then back into index.html, yeah, that's called cart. So here, 
I'm gonna get this card and then it's gonna have a line height of like uh, let's say 1.7 and then also it's gonna have a font size of 1.5 rim save it and it looks a little bit good now also we need to either bump this up to 200 or decrease the font size so that okay this looks better now actually I'm gonna go with 1.25 rim okay that sounds good now and also we need to text align everything to be in the center and also let's style the icons as well if a dash Quora and it's gonna have a color let's just duplicate the sound below four times it's gonna be for the Facebook and uh, this one is for the code here and the final one is called check okay for the Quora here in social icons in material UI.co uh, here this is the color for Quora I'm gonna copy that and then paste it here there we go and for the Facebook let's see this is the color for the Facebook I believe it's not updated okay paste it save it and then here for the coat I'm gonna go with a darker color shall I go with this okay paste it here and then for the check here let's see I'm gonna go with flat UI colors let's copy this out and paste it here save it and now if I just go back to here all right so this is how it is all gonna look and let's add a little bit of more border radius for the container I kind of believe that it's not looking good okay yeah now this looks nice and also from the demo you can see that all of these icons they have a box shadow as well okay so in the counter what I'm gonna do is go back into neomorphism this code pane here and just where is it uh, button yeah that's for the button right here button CTA I'm just gonna copy this box shadow again I'm gonna put the link for uh, this code pane in the description section below you can find it all from there okay so that's gonna be for all of these here and then paste it okay so you can see that the shadow is not applied because this is a box shadow and in order to prevent that I'm gonna use filter and then here you can say drop that shadow then wrap everything within that okay so you are using this filter drop shadow for font awesome and also some PNGs that doesn't has any background color so that's where this filter is pretty much handy there okay now you can see it kind of look nice right and also for the number from what you can see in the demo is a little bit larger there so down below here for the number I'm gonna add the font family of Mitch here Mitch and also a fallback phone family of Montserrat in that if I don't have that font then I'm gonna use the one that's already in the machine okay and then if I go back here now uh, we also need to bump up its font size boost it to two rim save it well yeah this kind of looks good uh, if I go back here yeah I think that the icons are a little bit bigger so I'm gonna go with four rim here let's see okay so this one looks a little bit better and also we need to make this responsive so if I shrink down the size of browser this should be responsive so I'm gonna write a media query right here media screen and maximum width I'm gonna target any screen size less than 576 pixels and then for the container all we have to do is to set the grade template columns set this to be 1FR like that okay so yeah that is how it is all gonna look and then for the card if you want to you can add a little bit of padding let's say 2 rim and 0 for top and bottom oh that looks very much 1 rim yeah this kinda looks good alright now let's go into a script.js and add a little bit of the JavaScript to make it look exactly how it's supposed to be okay so constant first we're gonna get all of these uh, numbers here this one so this is gonna be stored in a variable called numbers document dot query selector all and then dot number 
save it and then down below number start for each okay so we're gonna basically loop through every single one of that obviously this is gonna be called as num I'm not gonna use number because that might be a reserve word I believe that's with a capital N anyways so then down here we're gonna run a function and the reason why we need to run this function is because we are going to be using this set time out function and it requires another function within that so that's why I'm, I'll be creating another function here I'm gonna call that as increment counter and I'm gonna store it in a variable this is an arrow function and there it is okay so down in here I'm gonna get the target value or the target number so essentially that is this number right here we stored it in the data attribute and then we're gonna increment from 0 to this number here using JavaScript okay so first we're gonna have the target number that's equal to this num dot get attribute okay this is data dash target dash number there we go save it and then also we need to get the current number as well that's equal to number dot inner text there we go save it and then now if I console dot lock this target number um, target number and similarly this current number here okay and then if I just go to the console here okay so open in a separate window uh, right in the console um, yep if I just refresh the page yeah it's not gonna log that for some reasons yeah because I didn't call this function here so let's call that increment counter and then save it and now if I just go back into here now you can notice that it get that data target number if I go back into index.html and then put it right here then this data target number is uh, this number right here this is the value is set to 0, 700, uh, 7500 and the same is for the rest of that okay I'm gonna just minimize it in script.js now what we're gonna do is that we are gonna check if this current number is less than this target number then we are gonna keep incrementing it okay and the way we're gonna do that is I'm gonna say that if current number is less than target number then we're gonna keep incrementing it and write the incremented value within this uh, num.inner text here okay num.inner text is going to be equal to and I'm gonna use mat.floor here and then within that it's gonna be the uh, current number plus um, I'm gonna choose any random number okay so you can choose any random number and depending on that it's just gonna start incrementing now you can see uh, it is incremented from 0 to 100 and the value of all of these are 100 right now but we wanted to just go like that I mean uh, like increment unless we are going to meet this target number in here so for that we need to call this set time out function right here and then within that I'm going to call this increment counter function and it's going to run to uh, 100 okay all right now we can see it's going up until infinity so in order to just avoid that we're going to use this else here and then set this to be equal to target number just say equal to target number there we go and now yep refresh that out again okay so there's this weird behavior because right here I believe we need to add this parse integer and then save it now how's that gonna look okay let's wait for it all right so they are just gonna keep incrementing it's gonna take a lot of time so if I just change this to be okay maybe set time out I need to change this to like 10 okay let's see Facebook has finished first uh, second Quora third project stand and the fourth one is gonna be for this code and if you want all of those to finish simultaneously at the same time what you can do is to get this target number from there and then divide this target number by 100 this way they're all going to start and finish at the same time there we go and if i just refresh it back again yeah there it is 
and let's just maximize this and see if it looks exactly how we are expecting it to be all right so from the demo they kind of look identical and yet here is one more thing here we also need to add that comment it's going to separate the thousands so for that right here what you can say to local string okay save it and don't forget it has an e at the end of that save it and then refresh it once again hmm it's not working i don't know it should be working let's just refresh that once again all right and then dot to local yeah well this is supposed to work um it's the target number right to local string maybe this is a string uh, let's change this to a number and then try it out once again yeah there is it so the reason for that was because it was not a number and when we convert it to a number initially it was a string okay to local string it's gonna just separate it in thousands okay and if i just go back here then refresh it once again all right so that was it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification for more videos and i will see you guys in the next one thank you for watching